Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud ML. So we are starting up with a series of videos where we will be discussing various interview questions which were asked in the SQL interviews across different MNCs and across the globe. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the question or one of the problem which was asked in JP Morgan and Chase interview. So this is the problem statement here. The problem statement says that your team at JP Morgan and Chase is preparing to launch a new credit card and to gain some insights, you're analyzing how many credit cards were issued each month. Okay, so the problem statement is simple. There are many companies who actually launch new new credit cards and you have to actually analyze how many credit cards were issued each month. In this case, the issuance or issuer is JP Morgan. So this is where we have to focus that we have to write a query that outputs the name of each credit card and the difference in the number of issued cards between the month with the highest issuance card and the lowest issuance. And then we have to arrange the results based on the largest disparity. So there are two things where uh, we need in this case. The first thing is, the first thing is that we have to get or we have to query the name of each credit card and then we have to get the difference between the number of issued cards which was highest for example on a certain month the number of the issued card if it was highest we have to take that and then there would be a month where the number of issued card will be lowest and then we have to calculate the difference so it's like a subtraction and then we have to sort with respect to largest difference that means we have to sort with respect to the difference in a descending order so let us look into the schema the table schema the table schema has uh, four columns the first column is the card name, which is of the string data type. The second column is of the issued amount, which is of the integer data type. The third column is of the issue month, which is also integer data type. The fourth column is issue year, which is also an integer. And this is the sample table, which has been given in the interview. This is the sample table where you have the card name, issued amount, issue month and issue year. So in this table, we can see that there are two types of card. One is Chase Freedom Flex and the second is Chase Sapphire Reserve. And you have a single issue year, which is like 2021. So what we have to do in this case, with respect to each of this card, we have to look at their issued amount for each of the month and we have to subtract the issued amount which is highest with respect to issued amount which is the lowest. So we can look at this table like this that this is Chase Freedom Flex card and in the month of January the number of cards which were issued is 55,000. On In the month of February for the same Chase Freedom Flex card the number of issued cards were 60,000. So, you know, the number of cards issued is more in February than in January. But when we look at March, the issued cards increases furthermore to 65,000. And the highest issued cards is in the month of April. So, we have got two things from here. The one thing is, the Chase Freedom Flex card saw its highest issuance in the month of April, which is 70,000. And 
it saw its lowest issuance in the month of January, which is 55,000. So if we subtract 70,000 from 55,000 or uh, sorry, 55,000 to 70, uh, from 70,000, we will get 15,000. Similarly, in the case of Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card saw its highest issuance in the month of March and the amount of the credit card issued is 1,80,000. And the lowest issued cards is in the month of January, which is 1,70,000. So if you calculate the difference between these two, you'll get uh, 1,80,000 minus 1,70,000 is 10,000. And this is what we are expected to get. So we have to write an SQL query that, so such, in such a way that we first of all get the card name and the difference. The difference is this. So as you can see from this problem, though the problem statements look a bit complicated, but this is a kind of an easier problem to solve. But first of all, I have seen many students getting confused uh, with respect to what should they do with respect to this issue month and issue year. Because in this case, if you can look at it, we don't require to do anything with respect to issue month and issue year. Because all we are doing is, we are actually calculating the difference between the highest issuance to the lowest issuance. That's it. And we have the card name up here. So, you know how we can frame the logic for this? So, we already know that we, we have two kinds of credit cards. Chase Freedom Flex and Chase Sapphire Reserve. For each of the cards, we have to find the maximum issuance and the minimum issuance. Definitely, this will require us to group the table with respect to number of cards, total types of cards. In this case, we have card name for this. So definitely, we will have two groups. Group one will have Chase Freedom Flex card, which saw its highest peak of issuance in the month of April and the amount is 70,000 and the lowest amount issued is 55,000. Similarly, my group 2 will be Chase Sapphire Reserve and the maximum uh, issued cards is around 180,000 and the lowest issued card is around 170,000. So definitely we have to group this table into two. You can just think about it, guys. So it's not like that something, uh, what I'm talking is something which you don't know. Even in Excel or even in other, uh, with respect to this table, when you analyze this, you will do the same thing. You will first make two groups. Group one will be this. If I can highlight it in yellow, this will be group one. And this will be group two. Because... Only in case of groups, we will be able to derive the, what is the maximum issuance and the minimum issuance. So this is group one with maximum issuance as this and minimum issuance as this. So we have to do this. This is the core logic for this entire problem. So let us, let us now um, write our SQL query. So in this case, what I'm using I'm using my SQL workbench, but you are free to uh, use any of the IDEs of your choice. You can use PG admin, uh, I mean Postgres SQL, or you can also use SQL server. It depends upon you. You can use whatever you want. In this case, I'm using my SQL. So what I have done, I have created a table schema, which is the same table schema which we, we which we saw in the problem problem statement with a card name of worker data type 
issued amount as integer, issue month as integer, and issue year as integer. And then I have inserted the same values which has given in the sample uh, table. Why I have chosen to insert the same values is because in this case, you will be able to validate whether I'm getting the right answer or not. So if I look at this statement where I'm selecting the, all the columns from the monthly card issued table, if I can run this, you can see this is the same table which is provided in the problem statement. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to we have to select two things. So first of all, we have to select the card name. So I can write card name. And the second thing we have to select is, second thing is we have to find the max. Max of what? The max of issued amount. So in this case, I can take max of issued amount. And I have to subtract this with minimum of issued amount. And I can alias it as a difference because this is the same alias which is used in the sample table here. So I have chosen the same thing. So this is as difference. So we have to select the credit card name and maximum issued amount minus minimum issued amount as a difference. From, from which table? The table name should be this because we are going to select these columns from this table. This table. Then finally what we have to do? We have to use a group by and we know that there will be two group with respect to the card name and then we have to order order by we have to order by difference we have to order by the difference in the descending order so this is my final query so in this case, I am selecting the card name and I'm using two aggregations, max of issued amount minus min of issued amount. And I'm using an alias. This alias will be difference. Then I, from this table name, we have to group by the card name and order by the difference in a descending order because we have to sort it with respect to the highest disparity. And then if I can just run this, you can see this is the same result which we got in case of this example. So there are two things which we can learn from this problem. The first thing is, first of all, when you read the question, the question might seem a bit, um, bit complicated. You might be tempted to use several columns, which is not actually required. So you have to first focus on what you are, you have to query. So first we have to read the problem, break it into different, different pieces. And then we have to write queries for each of those pieces and then combine them. So this is the one thing. And second thing is that we also now know how to group by. We have to group with respect to a card name and we have to order by. One important thing, which is like a basic, but for beginners, again, I, I'm, I'm repeating this thing that because we are using an aggregation in the select, this is also one of the most important thing that you should be using group by. Because if you won't use group by, these aggregations should not be selected. Because aggregations will always happen with respect to uh, various number of rows. It won't happen in each of the role level. So that's why group by is also required. So yes, this is one of the interview question. Uh, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please like, share and subscribe to CloudAML. Thank you.